Hi everyone, it's Magical Mary, and today we are going to be learning how to recreate my makeup for my Squirtle cosplay. Alright, so to start off, we are going to be priming our faces with the NYX HD Primer Base. It's got a little bit of a green tint to it, so it kind of balances out the red in your face. Next, we're going to take the Revlon Colorstay Combination Oily Foundation in number 110 Ivory. It is literally the lightest shade I can ever find whenever I'm looking for foundation. that into the face getting a nice base down before we put down any other makeup all right moving on next we're going to take the NYX HD translucent powder and we're going to set that foundation keep that color locked in place just dust that all over the face. We've got to get our neck. Make sure that there are no spots left uncovered. And go ahead and get the ears too to get rid of a little bit of that redness. All right. Now for the eyes, we're going to take the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and we're going to kind of cover that over our eyelids and use that as the base for the eyeshadow. We want to make sure that there's a nice base underneath, especially with this Jumbo Pencil. It really makes the colors super vibrant. Just get that blended in. Now to kind of set that, we're taking Kat Von D's Shade and Light Palette and we're using Liberatus, which is the whitest shade. And we're just gonna kind of cover up what we put down with that NYX Jumbo Pencil to make it easier to blend more eyeshadows on top. Next, we'll be taking the Sephora Aerial Story Look Palette and the color Blue Lagoon. And we're just gonna work that in our crease start on the outer edge and get a little bit more light handed as you come to the inner corner. You just kind of work that into the crease. And I forgot to show these colors, but this is Caspian Sea and Flotsam mixed together. And we're just going to put these on the outer corners working up towards the middle point of the eye. So we're really only focusing on that outer third of the crease of the eye. Next, we're taking a blending brush and we're blending that all together. You can add and blend the shadows as you need to. Sometimes I'm a little bit heavy handed and I gotta blend out a bit. Now we're gonna go ahead and take the color Your Voice, which is a very sparkly shade. It's uh, kind of, it's got little bits of cosmetic glitter in it. Now we're gonna go ahead and shape our brows. And we're gonna take that NYX Jumbo Pencil again and we're gonna kind of swipe that through the brows. Kind of block out that brownish color that my brows are. This should really work for any color brow. Just kind of make sure don't miss any spots. And we're gonna take a flat brush with that same Blue Lagoon color and we're going to work that into the brow, uh, right on top of the jumbo pencil that we just put on there. And you don't want to be too heavy handed with this because you'll lose all of that jumbo pencil that we put on there. So you want to kind of just lightly touch it to the brow. Make sure you cover up all of the white. Alright, 
moving on, we're gonna take the Revlon Colorstay Liquid Eye Pen. It's got a felt tip kind of marker nib to it. And we're gonna do just a little wing. We wanna try and make our eyes pop as much as possible and a wing will definitely open up the eye for this look. I mean, we're doing Squirtle, so you wanna make sure the eyes look a little bit cartoony for this. Doesn't have to be overwhelming but we want to give that little bit of a wing to open up the eye. Touch up any places that you might have missed. My marker is running out of ink a little bit, so I gotta go back a couple times. All right. Now we're gonna just curl our lashes, get it ready for mascara. And you can add as much mascara as you want. I don't usually like to add a lot of mascara, so you'll see that I'm only going to be using one coat of the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express. Just kind of go over the lashes, just once, get them in place, both top and lower lashes. Now at Comic Palooza, I did wear falsies for this look but I did not want to have to reapply them, so wear falsies if you'd like. I did not wear any today. And now we're gonna zoom back out and put on some blush. Now for this one, I wanted my face to look very rosy and very cute, so I heavily applied this blush. This is a blush I've had for a long time and it is not sold anymore. Um, it's almost like a blush and a highlighter mixed in one. So I'm just applying that to the apples of my cheeks and the tip of my nose to give that cute little expression, a little bit of a button nose. Now we're gonna be contouring with that same Kat Von D shade and light palette with the shade Lazarus. It's gonna be the middle shade on the top above all of the eye shades. Just do a little bit carving up the cheekbones gotta hide that double chin work that right under the jawline there I'm gonna go ahead and apply that right on the sides of our nose too your nose is gonna look a little bit odd if you don't get the sides of that there you got color everywhere else on your face now I did do my temples also, but that I did not show. Um, lastly, we're going to be taking this lip color uh, Anarchy by Urban Decay. And I didn't apply too much, just kind of in the middle of the lip and I buffed it out a little bit with my finger. We don't want it to be too, too strong because, you know, it, it's a Pokemon and we're a human. So, yeah. Kind of touching that up. And now we add a wig and change into our cosplay and we are ready to go. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Now this wig I got from Cindy's. It's just a cute little blue bob wig. Thank you guys so much for watching. I had a lot of fun recreating my Squirtle look again so you guys could see. I'm sorry I didn't get any footage of this while I was at Comic Palooza, but I feel like going out to this park and having a good time and making a gigantic fool of myself in front of strangers was pretty great. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a like comment below what you liked if you'd like to see me recreate anything else or any looks that you'd like to see in the future don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys another time have a magical day